to today's liturgy and to Sacred Heart Parish, including visitors and those joining us through live streaming. The restrooms are located in the parish center to my right. And um, if you can help, we need ministers of hospitality and you can find out what is involved by speaking to one of those that are here today. It involves coming a few minutes early and staying a few minutes late later and um, the, to prepare and sanitize and the materials are provided. Uh, help our elders in good times and bad, senior Catholic sisters, brothers, and religious order priests have dedicated themselves to service and acts of mercy. Years of serving for little or no pay have left their religious communities without enough retirement savings. Your gift to the Retirement Fund for the Religious helps provide medications, nursing care, and other necessities. Special envelopes are available in the church and ministry center, as well as choosing religious retirement through Faith Direct. You may return your donation next week in the collection boxes or at the <coughs> ministry center. And please be generous. And now for our liturgy. Today we celebrate the second Sunday <coughs> of Advent. Our presider is Father Sheehan and um, he will be assisted by Deacon um, John um, Roberts. Good grief. <laughs> okay. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Great to see you all here this afternoon, and uh, you're very, very welcome. Uh, we also welcome those following the celebration and live streaming. Second Sunday of Advent, two candles lighting, and we hope they'll continue to light despite the elements. And um, the two great figures in the scripture readings this evening are Isaiah, the prophet, and also John the Baptist, another of the greatest of all the prophets. So they have a great message for you and for me. And the message is, make ready the way of the Lord, clear him a straight path, turn away from sin, embrace God's love and mercy and forgiveness and compassion. Let's take a moment to look into our hearts and be sorry for our sins. You were hint to, sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. 
Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end, her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain. The rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up unto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like one day. The Lord does not delay his promise, as some regard delay, but he is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, 
but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar, and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and the earth and everything done on it will be found out. Since everything is to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be, conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire? But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Son, the Lord, in your heart and your lips have publicly proclaimed the good news of salvation. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and the The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey. And this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we hear in both readings, first reading and also in the gospel about the straight highway, the straight highway. We all, when we're driving, we like to move along and move along fast. Uh, we don't like detours. We don't like detours. Uh, you know what the definition of an optimist is? A person who thoroughly enjoys the scenery on a long detour. The two great figures today are Isaiah the prophet and also John the Baptist, two great prophets, two great prophets. And in the first reading, we hear Isaiah the prophet say, comfort my people, comfort my people. And then he goes on to say, make ready the way of the Lord, build him a straight path. May the hills and the mountains be leveled and the, uh, the places below smoothed out so that there's a real path, not so much for the Lord, but for the people. The people were in exile in uh, Babylon. You remember that uh, exile of the people in Babylon because they rejected God's uh, uh, covenant and sinned against him, and God allowed them to be conquered by the Babylonians. And here they were in Babylon, 
and away from their homeland. And that's a terrible thing, to be away from your homeland for a long time. And you have those beautiful psalms that we read in the uh, Liturgy of the Hours. By the rivers of Babylon we sat and wept as we remember you, O Zion. We hung up our, our harps, our musical instruments on willows, and our captors asked us to sing a song of Zion. And they said, how could we sing a song of Zion in an alien land? They wanted to get back, back to their homeland. And here in the first reading, they're being invited back. God is merciful, like the responsorial psalm. The Lord is kind and merciful, always. And God is always faithful. He was faithful then, he's faithful today. Same thing. So anyhow, that's a very interesting reading. A lot of people don't listen much to the Old Testament, but it's a great reading. It says then, like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, close to, pressing them close to his bosom, leading them home. Beautiful imagery, beautiful. The good shepherd. And um, the Lord was a good shepherd then. He was forgiving to the people who rejected him and broke the covenant. Same Lord is with us this evening. Always merciful, always kind, always forgiving. Did you know that everything in the Old Testament leads to Jesus? Did you know that? Very important when you're listening. All these things are leading to Jesus, the Savior of the world. Very same thing in the, in the Gospel. The beginning of the Gospel according to Mark. And... As Isaiah the prophet said, every valley shall be filled in and every road shall be straightened out. And all there's room for all the people to come to God. So John the Baptist was a very austere figure and a good man. And he was out there in the desert and he was uh, formed and informed by the Essenes. And they were... Um, shall we say, very austere people in following God. And he picked a lot up from them. And he wore rough clothing and eat locusts and honey. So, and then he preached about the coming of the Messiah. And John was thrilled that the Messiah was coming. You remember the visit, the visitation, when Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth. The baby in Elizabeth's womb leapt for joy, left for joy. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. The coming of a savior, the coming of the Lord. And you remember um, Simeon in the temple. When they visited the temple, he was thrilled to hold the Messiah that people had been waiting for for centuries. And here he was, right in his arms. Just beautiful. But anyhow, John is out there preaching, and his message is, Repentance. Repent of your sins. Repent of your sins. Embrace ongoing conversion. Ongoing conversion. Leave, let go of your uh, unforgiveness, your anger, your lust, whatever it is. Whatever is holding us away from the Lord. Get rid of all these things. P repentance. Repent. Repent, repent. That was the message. And you know what? People were going out to the desert in droves to listen to him because he had that great message that people needed to hear, and we all need to hear it, uh, to be, make more room for the Lord in our lives. That's what it's all about. Make more room for the Lord in, in our lives. Do you know who I, what I think of when I think of John the Baptist? I think of a GPS. You know what a GPS is? <laughs> you sure do. Okay. It leads us to where we want to go, and that's it. If we get off the track, it often says, or it used to say, anyhow, recalculating. <laughs> right? So we sin and get off the track. He's calling us back, calling us back. 
calling us back to the Lord. So this Advent, what do we need to do? Well, John the Baptist is telling us to be reconciled to God. He did that through uh, baptism and repentance of sins. It wasn't a real baptism as we understand it, but it was symbolic of the forgiveness of sins. There are a lot of things we can do this, uh, this Advent. And the first thing that I'm thinking of is, do you pray every day for the, nur the nurses and doctors that are in the front lines of the people dying from coronavirus? That's good. I see people nodding their heads. That's good. That should be a priority of all of us, and especially if you have children, that the children know that you're praying for these people that are hurting and dying. Reaching out to somebody by just telephone call. A lot of lonely people around, a lot of hurting people. Uh, reaching out to help people in need of one kind or another. It might be doing errands for somebody. And these are very strict times, as you know, the coming weeks. So there's all kinds of opportunities. But the thing is, don't be lazy and do nothing. That's what the scripture says there a few weeks ago. You lazy, useless servant. And they lost out. They lost out in the kingdom. Very important. So you might think now at this time, and I, I must do the same thing. What can I do this coming, these coming days to live the message of today's readings? Make ready the way of the Lord. Open my heart more and more to love and kindness and uh, generosity to people who are in need. Please stand now and um, make a profession of faith. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered and died on the cross, and rose to life again, and ascended into heaven? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. And we're all proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray now for all of our needs. For the church, the body of Christ, baptized in the Holy Spirit, to be the herald of the good news and a bearer of God's comforting care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For leaders of nations who are strong, compassionate, and visionary, committed to the sanctity of all life and the ways that lead to peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who live in the rough country of unemployment, racial injustice, and food insecurity, and for those who are courageously provide God's help, comfort, and hope to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the comfort and healing of those who are ill or recovering from coronavirus and other ailments, including Mindy Desrochers, Mary McGowan, Anne Marie Casanelli, Antonio Rubillo, and Joan Burke. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Michael Corrieri and for all who have died, that they, say, that they shall see the kindness and salvation of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the silent prayers we offer from our hearts, knowing God is near and answers.
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's lift up these prayers and petitions now to the intercession of Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merit to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the designs you found long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. The partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, John and Ramon, his auxiliaries, Bishop Emeritus Robert, the clergy, religious, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The great Advent prayer. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. I can nod a sign of peace to the people around us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
The Lord is kind and merciful. Let us stand and pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and to hold firm to the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you all for participating so well at Mass. It's great. It's easy to celebrate Mass here. And you know that the people are listening and they're with you. That's terrific, terrific. And we also thank those following the celebration and live streaming. It's nice to see some young adults here, home with our families at this time. And we had a uh, a beautiful singer uh, this evening, I think her name is Isis Osuna. She used to sing in the church with the youth group a number of years ago, but she went to college to study the law, and she's volunteering her time again. So thank you very much, and thank you, Trey, uh, who is serving, and also I see some young adults here home from college as well. Could we show our appreciation for all of them? Make it a great weekend. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. I forgot to thank the uh, volunteers. They do a great job. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. Anybody would like to be a volunteer? We'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you.